Hello everybody. So today we're looking at the brand new Steinberg Spectra Layers version 10. So this is a spectral audio editing software. Uh, it's already 10 years old, originally developed by Sony, uh, then sold to Magix and then acquired by Steinberg. And they released it, uh, let me look, back in 2019's as Spectral Layers Pro version 6. And uh, it's an amazing program. It's a big competitor now to Isotope RX. It has a lot of you know new things you can do. And you can watch the Steinberg videos and some of the others about the multiple voices, the tra text uh, transcription, all that kind of thing. But I want to look at the musical uh, unmasking uh, remixing option isolating tracks uh, which once in a while comes in handy if you have to get rid of something and you want to maybe do a new recording of an older song but you don't like the lead vocal or the bass line and you think you know what now i want to do something different so with their new algorithm it's supposed to be really really good so we're going to compare version 9 to version 10 and i'm going to hop over to the program and we're going to look at a audio file and we're gonna unmix that one. Here we go. So here it is, uh, Spectral Layers Pro 10. I imported a song of mine, a smooth jazz track I released two years ago. I play you a tiny bit of it, a uh, small group. It's saxophone, violin, drums, bass, keyboards. And so this is how it sounds. <laughs> All right, so you get the idea. Let's go to the menu, unmix. There are a bunch of new options now. There is also multi-channel content transcription for spoken word and lyrics, uh, multiple voices, noisy speech. And of course, we got the song uh, option. Number one, let's go in there. There are presets, default, high quality vocals only. Let's stick to default. Ah, I took off the bass. Don't want that, we want the bass. The guitar, there's no guitar. Let's get rid of that. Drums, piano, other. Vocals, good question. Could be the violin later. I don't know. Let's find out. Um, quality best. And let's just click OK and let it analyze the file. So the uh, best... Resolution takes a long time. I stopped it after uh, like a minute and it gave me the first 40 seconds uh, broken down. You can see it down here. Uh, so now we've got our elements and let's just uh, see what it detected, right? So let me just play this. This is everything. So under vocals, there's not much. Here are the drums. That's pretty amazing. I mean, you hardly hear any of the other stuff, right? A little bit on a tail here and there. Cool. Let's hear the piano. All right, that one is harder because it's so wide and also a lot of effects on it. And there's some also some violin on it. Okay, what's on the bass track? That is very clean. So if I just play the drums and bass. So you know what, you could actually lay down a completely new keyboard part if you don't like the old one or even a solo solo part on top. I mean, that's the idea of a program like that, right? If you want to take things out. All right, let me go further. What's on the other? That could be the violin. good because I have a lot of reverb on my track and I also, occasionally I could hear that little hi-hat snap but so subtle and what's under non unmixed down here all 
all right that's a, a couple of, you know like a blend of a little bit keyboard piano maybe some of the strings in there so the fun part it sounds really good i, I mean i definitely uh, i'm impressed by this algorithm if i take out the violin So I think the the most uh, uh, reflection of the violin and leftover is on the piano track. So, but just getting the bass and drums isolated is already a, a major uh, success. So uh, I think uh, recognizing the low end and the drums and pulling those out of the mix, that's, that's pretty remarkable. Let's compare this one to the old spectral layers, how bass and drums sounded in that version. So here we are in the uh, version 9, where it says here, Pro 9. Okay. And let's pick the same spot after the sax intro. All right. So we're going to go to a layer and uh, unmix uh, stems and see here we had the setting for sensitivity. So let's go to balanced. Let's try balanced and click OK. Let's stop it here. Yep, that's the same trick. So I have got the first minute and let's see what's happening. Okay, that's the vocal track. Got a little bit more on the vocal track. Let me hear the drums. We want to hear those guys. Yeah, way more residue on the drums, right? Let's hear the bass. Yeah, and it's totally obvious how the new algorithm works uh, so much better. I mean, you can tweak it here in version 9 with a sensitivity button, right? So when you go uh, to unmix uh, stems and, you know, if you tweak this a tiny bit, it might, you know, get rid of a few more things. But just playing back the default uh, rendering of this, even just the bass. I'm going to pull up the bass from uh, version 10 right now, you can hear the comparison. Same with the drums. So here, drums in version 9. And here are the drums in version uh, 10. Yeah, so definitely you can tell night and day difference, right? So I think uh, just for that, uh, Spectral Layers Pro 10 is a winner. And I haven't even gotten to the, the speech and the voices yet and multiple voices and all of that. But just from unmixing a stereo track, I'm already very much impressed. And again, if you own 9 and it's $80 to upgrade to 10, so I say, oh yeah, definitely. It's worth the 80 bucks, all right? So thanks for watching and uh, have fun with Spectral Layers if you own it or if you want to try it. I think there's also a trial on the Steinberg website. You can check it out. So definitely a great upgrade. Bye.